Another favourite for the standover. Across the half-back line, Thompson just fell over his own feet. Now he's under all sorts of problems. That's holding the footy. He has been involved in a couple of huge bloopers this year, James Thompson. Well, the slipover killed him, didn't it? That was the uh, the one that killed him. Now, Benell into the pocket. Smith. Let's just wait and see what happens. Smith, you'd back him to kick it. He's been so good with his goal kicking this year. That's a great effort by Smith. Just backs himself. The other thing he does do is he wins free kicks, Lammy, which attracts umpires' attention, obviously, so that'll give him a chance yeah. with the uh, sandover. Yeah, they have to blow the whistle. Now, Wilson's a high up and under, and it's been marked by Lysette. Good fighting mark. Juggled it and took it on about the third take. And it was Cripps in actual fact. Now, as we mentioned, well, I think Clint did a moment ago, five goals to Jamie Cripps last week in the first semi-final. Cripps. He's just uh, got an opportunity here to force a slight advantage as he kicks on goal and kicks truly. He's in good goal-kicking form. Missing out there, Cripps. Got a little handy bump from Vanell up against Holt. The attacking 50. Punch at the back came from Thompson. Set up there for Lee. Got it to Sweet. Back towards Swan. He knows how to kick. Important goal, Swan. Which way will this bounce? It sits up. Will it tumble through? Socket across the line, I reckon. It's a goal. Seal was there. Right place, right time. Bit of a breeze. Under all sorts of pressure to try and register a score. Lee. Roving in again. Great effort there by Selwood. It was a bit of a missed kick. But Selwood matching up there on Laurie. Just anticipated better or reacted quicker. And has plucked this out of the air and taken a well, strong mark. There was a missed kick. But as you often preach to your forwards, play in front. And uh, Selwood's playing in front, experienced player. Ball drops a bit short. Well, nine out, of, mark. nine out of ten missed kicks are going to fall short, aren't they? Yep, that's right. And Selwood in the right place there. And this has been something of a purple patch. This For five unanswered goals, Selwood brings it back and brings it back to a nicety. It's snuck through. Which says he wins the ball a bit, but also the umpires... Well, well he wins the ball, and the umpires look after him. Lice it cleverly to Sweet. Didn't really get much of the kick, but uh, right onto it there was Swan. Gives it off to Seal. Deft little sidestep there by Matt Seal. Steadies, takes a breath and drills it for his second. Clutterbuck is short down the line. Bongi, back and Morton Marks. It's a famous name at Claremont, but he's wearing the East Perth Colours as part of the alignment with the West Coast Eagles, where he's a listed player. Big fly from Smith, comes down towards Selwood. Selwood gets the kick away, sliding to trap the footy with Seabees. Hand pass missed its target. Opportunity for Wolf on in turn to Derricks. He kicks the goal. Dispossessed. Fraser got a hand pass to Lee. He hand passes to the grass. Murphy will be claimed first time, second time. That's got to be holding the footy. They're right onto him. Lysette, the tackler. He takes the free kick, makes it a hand pass. Sweet. Delivers beautifully onto the chest of Swan, who's led right up the ground in front of the scoreboard. On the wing, short to Seal, who's kicked a couple of goals. He's just held up there by Swan, so he needs to go back for his kick. He turns it into a hand pass. Swan gets the kick. It had a bit more carry than they thought. And at the back of the pack, Cripps. Well, it got over the top of Smith and Thompson. Once that happened, Cripps was there, camped in the right spot, and took a mark low down. Well, we yeah, know what sort of goal kicking more. We know what sort of goal kicking form he's been in, Judgy. So this one, pretty simple. Yeah. One of the first quarter was a beauty. And this one really, he's gone way back. He's gone as far back from the man on the mark as he has to kick the goal. Oh no, he hasn't. Brown had ran in at him, but Cripps is in good form, makes no mistake. So he's now got his second goal. Lee got a falling hand pass to Johnson. Kick. Clever little dribbling pass out to Morton, who was all on his own out on the centre wing. And uh, Johnson saw that. Well, he wobbles, went up towards centre half forward, but it was well directed on his non preferred side. Here's a chance for Bennell. Arthur Bennell, clever hand pass to Selwood, who gets one late. Doesn't matter. No, he's missed it, so the kick will come back. So. Jess Laurie is the one that they're going to, saying that was a heavy, hard hit. Now, it was a bit late, Judgey. I don't think there was anything more no, I don't think any... to it than that. He, he did come in late. Yeah. La Laurie was actually the player who pushed him. No, there was I don't know why I said here. I'm not sure whether it's ever friendly when, one, when you're kicked in the head by anyone. Unfriendly fire. <laughs> <laughs> so Selwood, he's play, taken plenty of time, used his experience to buy him time to recover, goes back, brilliant kick, never in doubt. 
Well, they could ill afford that, the Tigers, when 33 minutes are on the clock. Nor this. This is not the first time that, that the Royals have been able yeah. to bring the ball in and find a target. Cripps on this occasion. That is a thumping kick. Morton from behind. Thompson stood his ground well. Couldn't take it cleanly. So Morton, we know, is a really good user of the footy. Kicks it up towards Seal, oh. who slipped. And he's already kicked two goals in this first half. Comes in to 35 metres. He was never in doubt. He loved it as soon as it left the boot. He's now got his third. But away to Johnson. Now Oakley Nichols has it. Draws a player to him. Hand passes on to Morton again. Takes a bounce right on centre wing. Goes down the line, Morton. Still going. Got some help from Derricks. Another bounce. Good run from Morton. How's the kick? Towards full forward. Leaping up Lysett at the back. Wolf will get to it first. Hand passes back to Seal. Seal will snap. He'll go. He's got four. Lee released a hand pass to Wolf, likewise then to Sweet. Now he got it off to Clutterbuck, onto the left boot. Clutterbuck didn't look pretty, but it was effective into the pocket. Oh, it comes down to Morton. Morton now gives the hand pass off to Cripps. Cripps shoots a goal and gets it. The hand passes eventually back to Wilson. He spots up Weissett. Marks at centre half back. Steps back inside Seabee. Spots a teammate. Seal. Seal moving it on quickly towards centre half forward. Strong grab again in front, Smith. They've used the ball well there. So Smith, on the edge of the centre square, puts it towards full forward. Off hands at the back. Wolf gathers goals. A bit of definition. Derek's picked up and gave it to Mel Dennis. That's the highest kick of the day without any doubt. <laughs> I just looked up through my binoculars and I passed a couple of seagulls on the way up. I was going to say, it went above that seagull. <laughs> Wolf went through past it. It's got on with it quickly to uh, Selwood. Now look at this. Cadwallader all on his own at half forward. The long striding Dean Cadwallader. Three bounces. He could take a fourth. He decides to hand pass it to Johnson on the goal line and he just chips it through. Just gives the opposition a goal. Lee again emerging. Gives it the Clutterbuck full of running. He gets himself to right half forward. Towering kick. Freddie Clutterbuck gets another one. Payne will put it back inside the forward 50. Smith was out after it. Laurie got in front. It came down to Swan. His snap won't have the distance. Oh, two Clement players collide. Allows Lysett to gather. Lysett drives it through. Richardson just didn't quite complete the mark. Now it's Lee. Hand passes the ball to Swan. He keeps it alive by giving it off to Fraser. He puts it up to the goal square again. Big pack. No mark. Bunnell, eventually he does get onto the goal scorer's list. After Bunnell, front and square, 